guys welcome back to my channel today's video um, we're going to be making a vegetable and bean soup it is a bit of what I've got left um, it's um, shopping delivery day tomorrow so I'm using up all the veg and stuff that I've got in the fridge and in the cupboards so I'll show you what I'm going to be adding it's really quick it's really easy and it's really tasty so I'll show you what we've got this is what I'm adding to the soup. I've got three carrots, uh, an onion. You could use red onion if you wanted. I've got, it's about two handfuls of kale, red pepper, butternut squash that I've already used some of. So I'm just using the rest. It's about two thirds left. I've got some potatoes. These are just Maris Piper potatoes. Um, they're quite small ones. Um, a sweet potato, broccoli. Uh, and then these are the Knorr stock pots. You need a litre, I always add a litre of stock to my soups, so I need two of these. And salt and pepper, which goes without saying. <laughs> and then I've just got some cannellini beans, but you could do butter beans, whichever ones you want really. And I am also gonna add in some frozen peas as well, but I haven't got them out of the freezer yet. I'll add them in near the end. So first of all, I'm just going to chop up my onion because I want to just uh, sort of fry that off first before I add everything else. So I'm just going to slice that up. in a little bit of olive oil into the pan and warm that up before I add in the onion. So I've just got the onions frying in there, I've turned it down really low um, I'm just going to wait until they sort of go translucent and then while that's doing that I'm going to slice and chop up my pepper. as well and then while that's all cooking I'm going to peel and chop up the rest of the veg. I'm going to add in the potatoes, carrots, uh, sweet potato and butternut squash into the pan now. I'm not going to add in the broccoli uh, or the beans or the kale just yet, just because these are all harder vegetables. I want to cook these for a little bit first. So I'm just going to add these in now. So I've added all of that into the pan, giving it a stir. And now I'm going to uh, make up my stock and add that as well. So with these these stock pots, you just literally just tip it out into your jug, like that. It's like a solid sort of bit. And then I'm gonna add 500 ml of water to this one, and then I'm gonna do that twice, but I've only got a little jug. <laughs> so I'm gonna add in half a litre. Dog barking in the background. Uh, I'm going to stir it. Choose the knife. Just to break up that sort of the pot bit. When it goes in the, the pan, it will all break up anyway. But I just give it a quick stir in here. Then I'm just going to add it into the pan. 
then I'm just going to add another half litre. I mean, if you've got a bigger jug, then you can do this all in one go rather than in two bits like what I've done. So I'm just going to add that in as well. And then we're going to give it a stir. Stir it all up, I'm going to bring it to the boil and then let it simmer. I'll let this simmer for about 15 minutes and then we'll add in the other bits for, for five to 10 minutes. But I mean, to be honest, a lot of the time I'll have this going and I'll just let it simmer in for hours. What will happen is, is some of the veg will sort of break down and you can hard, it won't be that solid, um, but you still get the nutrients in there as well. So that's another option if you wanted to. This has been simmering away for 15 minutes. Um, the veg is now nice and soft. So I'm going to add in the cannellini beans, the peas, the broccoli and the kale. A minimum of five minutes and then it'll be ready to serve. So after five minutes it's all ready to go. Make sure you add plenty of salt and pepper and stir it in and then you can dish it up. Mm -hmm. 